Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mac Break Work. And I'm here with Rich Harrington. Hey, Rich. Nice. From Red Pixel. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in. Sure. Now, we're talking about iWork 09. Yep. And, uh, and, and Keynote. Yeah, it's uh, it's an awesome keynote. It's so much better than it than it used to be. I mean, last version was and, awesome. And, and it this was is more it's, awesome. It's, it keynote keynote by itself is already you know the PowerPoint is somewhere like way way back over there, and uh, and so and keynote was already and it just kept on going. Oh yeah, and, and this year like the stuff I saw, my jaw is just dropped. This new version, yeah. it's awesome. So what are we, what are we looking at today? Well, everyone's favorite transitions. You know, you, you can't overuse them because you got to be motivated. But they've added some really nice elegant transitions that I think work well. And they don't look like a PowerPoint presentation. I mean, that's the big oh, not thing. even close. Yeah, that's the, the thing is, is that what's great about Keynote is a lot of this new stuff that's going in really is the kind of stuff that in the past we would have gone into motion, we would have gone into something and built that video because that was the only way to get it in here. And this is looks easier and uh, even better sometimes. Well, let's see it. All right. So they added a whole bunch of new types of transitions, and they completely reorganized the transitions menu. Uh -huh. So we just have a simple... Uh, slide here. This is actually one of the new templates called Showroom. It's very nice. And uh, we're going to add some transitions between slides. Okay. Now, one of the things I like to say is get your system set up right for transitions. Okay. So make it easier. Go ahead and you know click down here at the bottom and get a large icon so you can How's see that your slides. Been there? Yeah, since the first version, I think. Okay. It's at the bottom. It's not that I'm yeah. bitter or anything. No, it's just it's hidden. It's at the bottom. Okay. All right. And, and then, you know, of course, you're going to need to get your inspector up so you can see your transitions. Right. And those are in the slide category. Okay. So, we usually when I'm animating, I do slide transitions and build transitions. Right. Okay. Now slides are for well, and slides. Then, and part of the problem is you're constantly going back and forth. Yeah. Because you have to set one up and then you go back to the other one, make sure that they all fit together. Or you could just cheat and say, give me a new inspector and have this one set to slides and this one set to, set to builds. And now you can do both animations without having to toggle. That was, that's been there since version one, too. Well, no, there wasn't an inspector, I don't think, back then. Or maybe there was. Okay. I don't know. It's been there a long time, but I didn't know it until two years ago. Okay. Time travel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so now that we've got that set up, yeah. where do we go from here? Well, let's take a look at the new transitions. Okay. So there's a really cool thing. You know, you got your effects here, mm -hmm. and they've organized wow. them. Yeah, a lot more. Well, you got your 2D effects and your 3D effects like before. Right. But now we have specific ones for text. Right. A new one called Magic Move which we'll do in a sec, mm -hmm. and then uh, object effects. Okay. And then what I like is all the recent ones you've done are in this recent category, so you don't have to keep going all Those the way guys. down to the bottom of the list to get the one you need. These guys are always thinking. Yeah, efficiency. Yes. So. so let's try some of these object ones, like object push. Okay. And remember, you don't have to go full screen to see it. Right. So unlike a regular push that would have pushed the whole slide out, right. they moved at different speeds and it animated the objects. Mm. But there's another one called Zoom that I like better in this case because watch, it's going to look at like the motorcycles driving up. And that's the kind of thing that normally we would we would have gone into motion, we would have built a movie, it would have been this whole process, and now we just do it in Keynote. Yeah, and, and you, know, you used to have to do that, and you'd get these presentations that couldn't fit on a thumb drive and were hard to transfer. Right, because they were huge, because you're, you're only animating some 2D elements, but by the time you got it back into your presentation, it yeah. was a big quick time. Yeah, and so that's a great new category, and you can always just click there to get a preview. Mm -hmm. So, And then they added that new category called Magic Move, so right. if you've got something on one slide and right. it appears on the next slide, you do a copy and a paste. What we could do is say, you know, let's get rid of this text here. And by the way, you, you, got, a, you got a little oh, I did. typo there. Oh, we better fix that. All right, yeah, so how did you know I had a typo? Because it's a little red line. But it's not there anymore. <laughs> it's on this slide. <laughs> so that's one way to fix that. You know, just, just delete everything. You know, that, that'll work, so. Yeah. No, those red lines indicate that there is a spelling mistake. And so what you should do is just, you know, Click on that word so it's selected. Uh -huh. You know, a double click on the single on the word there, and then a right click, or if you're on a laptop, a control click. Uh -huh. And if you look, it'll give you recommendations right there. So it's been there since version one too, hasn't it? No, that's a Mac OS thing actually. It works in all applications, not just Keynote. So it'll tell you. That's why we'd like to have Rich on the show. Well, I have Mac friends who <laughs> teach me geeky things. Actually, that was taught to me by a brand new employee 
and I didn't know that until three months ago. <laughs> Taught to me by a new hire. That's the way it always works. So we all get humble. And by sometimes. the way, if you're a new hire, you're, the best thing to do is to research some kind of weird, quirky thing that OS 10 does. Because then you show it to us, and we're like, okay, he really knows what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. You only need one. You only need one, and then from then on, you're the master. Total respect. Some brand new hire. You know, I'm written several <laughs> books. He's like, oh, you just do this. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> so we've got this transition, and we want to do this magic move. Yeah. So on this slide, we've got uh, an object. So let's just go ahead and you know we'll scale that down a little bit, like that, and move it over to this side. Okay. And so now the same object appears on both slides, but it's in a different place. Right. You could animate, but let's say you wanted to go from this slide and have that pull down. You know, you'd have to do a motion path animation, dissolve that off, dissolve that one off. Right. Well, now you can just say magic move, and it moves between intelligently. It says, oh, here it is here, here it is here, do the move. And if you want to keep on changing how that works, it's basically doing a, basically a controlled transition, right? Yeah. And you could do it again. Like, we could duplicate this again and, you know, put another slide in there and say, okay, you know, on this slide, I want it over here. Right. And with that magic move transition, you know, it'll go ahead here from this slide and just slide on over. So really, really smart. Fantastic. And they did, besides the slide transitions and the object transitions, we have new text transitions that are really cool. OK. So let me open up a different presentation here and just show you a simple use of this. There we go. Here it is. Just pull it up. And we've got some text transitions here. You know, normally we would do really elaborate transitions here with two pieces of text, you know, have all these things happening. Right. You know, have to put it on one slide and it would do things. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. Let's just split that to two slides. And, you know, we'll say, okay, yeah. there's that. Right. And on this slide, we've got another piece of text. Okay, we'll just send that to the back real quick. Mm -hmm. And there we go. So we have question, where do I begin? Answer, not at the end. So real simple stuff, you know, and you don't need any more transitions here for the builds. You know, you used to like click on these and you'd say, do these build transitions. It was a lot of work. Right. No need to do that anymore. So we'll just pull those off and say, you know, don't do any of those fancy builds. Let this just take care of it for me. And so real simple, you just pick from your text category here and you've got different ones like shimmer and it will do it just on the text. Nice. So even if you had photos, those wouldn't get affected. Right. Just the text would transition. Or I like this one here called swing, and it will just swing right. between them. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So, yeah. And there's not a lot of build. You just kind of throw that in, throw it, throw it together, and it just moves. Wow, that's nice. That's the anagram? Yeah. And so it right. keeps the letters that are the same and just moves them to the place and then brings the new letters in. i got to use this on my next, my, i got to get 09 installed. Yeah. Did you see that one? anagram with an arc, and they sort of jump up and land. It's pretty nifty. Yeah, they're nice. So those are transitions. Yep. And they're all, and they all come with? Keynote 09. Keynote 09. Yeah. And I piece of cake. That. You got those in there. Lots of options in the inspector. Keeps it nice and simple. Thanks. Where can people find more of your stuff, Rich? Sure. Um, I'm, of course, in Amazon and bookstores, but uh, I have a graphics blog called Raster Vector, the two types of computer graphics. And uh, that's where I post about things like iWork and Keynote and photography. So. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much. Sure. And thank you for watching Mac Break Work.